everyone welcome to my youtube channel in the previous video i just write the code for this message received part of my online shopping project if you are not seeing that video just go to description and check out the link in this video we are going to write the code for this orders received so let us start with that here we have to move to the admin header and first we are going to connect this page with order received dot gsp page here you can see so i'm just writing here order orders received received dot js dot gsp page okay and after that uh, we have to insert here this four line of the code in order received just paste it and after that let's check out uh, that uh, is connected with our order received page or not here you can see we are able to connect with that page and let's minimize this after that we have to write the codes to display this message according to condition after the okay so now here we are going to write a string msg message equals to request request dot get parameter and here we just need to write msg and uh, here we just need to write if condition cancel to, uh, cancel okay dot equal okay okay here we forget to write c cancel dot equals here we just need to write msg msg and we have to start the bracket in that case we just need to display this message okay and uh, here we have to close the bracket after that we have to copy this line and paste it here and here we just need to delete this line of the code and in the cancel we just need to write here delivered okay after that we also need to close the bracket so here just close this and here paste it again and delete this line of the code and for something went wrong we are just uh, displaying the message so it means that we have to write invalid invalid okay after that uh, we just need to close this so just put percentage and bracket here okay now uh, now this message get removed from here you can see message get removed from there now we have to move to the line number line number 50 uh, 57 or 55 you can say and here we just need to write the code to display all the details these details one by one okay and here we just need to write uh, first uh, a, we are going to create a variable here in serial number is equals to zero and after that we have to write try catch block try catch catch okay and here we just need to write exception p okay after that we have to create the connection so connection con equals to connection provider class connection provider class dot get con here and after that we have to write a statement uh, okay st statement statement st equals to con dot uh, create a statement and uh, in this uh, we just need to write results after that we have to write results it rs equals to st dot execute query and here we just need to write select a star from cart inner join okay product uh, where cart dot product and id uh, is equals to product dot id and and cart dot order date is is not null and card dot a status is equals to processing sync okay after that we have to put semicolon at the end and we have to move to the next line okay one more time i am going to show you select a star from cart inner join product where cart dot product id is equals to product id and cart dot order date is not null and cart dot status equals to processing okay after that we have to write here while rs dot next okay and we have to start the bracket 
and we have to just copy this line of the code and delete it from here and end of this we just need to paste it here okay just paste that and one more bracket here we have to insert okay now you can see error get removed and after that we have to increase the serial number so first we are going to write serial number plus one by one after that here first we need to display uh, like uh, we have to display one by one and our and here we just need to write the uh, display the mobile number first okay we are not uh, displaying here any serial number so we will uh, leave that part so just delete this okay and uh, here we also need to delete this so we are not using that according to this table we are using mobile number product and all so that's why we are deleting that okay after that we have to just uh, write this rs dot git string and here we just need to write the column number 10 okay and here we just need to copy this and paste it here 17 so next uh, is for the 17 and just paste it and refresh this so we are able to see the three columns here sorry we are able to three rows here with mobile number product name and after that one by one we are going to starting writing we are able to see all this okay just paste it here and just change this to three okay and three after that we have to display the amount so just write a paste it here and just change to five okay after that we have to paste it here six six and after that paste it again and here we just need to display seven okay eight and uh, after that uh, there we have to display nine okay and paste it here okay we are getting some kind of error here so let's check okay this is not error when we close this and uh, just open it again you can see error get removed sometimes uh, it does not load that's why that uh, is error showing let's refresh this page again so we are able to see uh, more detail about uh, that product now uh, we have to display this four more uh, four or five more details about that so here after that nine the next is for 11 11 and after that we have to display for 12 okay and uh, after 12 we have to display for 13 so uh, according to this query we already have this so just follow this and when you select uh, run this query you will also get in this sequence that's why I'm writing in this sequence after 13 the next is 14 and at last we have 15 okay and just save this and click on refresh you are, uh, you are able to see all the details here and there is no TID transaction ID that's why we are not able to see that okay and uh, after that uh, we just need to okay uh, we just need to write here okay one more thing uh, we forget to place here space that's why it's going to the next line so we just need to make a little bit changes in the combo box not a big deal and here we just need to uh, display the transaction id so that is not uh, there that's why we are not able to show that after that for the cancel cancel and delivered order you also need to display so just uh, create page for that just right click on this and click on gsp and here we just need to write cancel orders action okay click just copy this and paste, click on finish can see page has been created just delete this and move to there here and here just paste that cancel this one is for the cancel just paste this dot gsp page okay after that uh, we have to create one more page just right click on this gsp and uh, here we just need to write delivered orders okay action just copy this and uh, click on finish okay just delete this all and uh, just close this for now and here just need to paste this and with dot gspp now let's minimize this part for now and for whenever we click on this page so it should be passed uh, the value some value that is email address and product id we need to pass it that so for that we have to write question mark id is equals to uh, okay and percent and uh, after that we have to write here equals rs dot get string and here we just need to write the column 2 
after that here we have to write and email is equals to and again we have to write the percent and equals to rs dot get a string and here we just need to write uh, one okay and let's refresh this and let's uh, see that we are able to see or not here you can see we are able to see that uh, id is equals to uh, id equals to one and we are able to see that email equals to at the rate gmail got up at the rate gmail.com okay now one more thing uh, we just write here this uh, okay it should be like uh, okay here we just uh, write this just read this part and here we just need to write question mark okay and after that we just need to copy the same line same line uh, okay after question mark we have to copy the same line of the code to here just paste this and again refresh this page and in the delivered we are also able to see the same values okay after this we have to write the code in the cancel order so just move to the, that page okay and here we just need to copy the same two line from this page so just copy these two lines and uh, paste it here after that we have to start the bracket okay and here we have to write a string id equals to request dot get parameter and here we just need to write id and after that a string email is equals to request dot get parameter and here we just need to write email and after that we have to write a string status is equals to double click double and cancel okay after that we have to write here try catch block again catch and here we just need to write exception okay and in try block we have to write connection con equals to connection provider class dot get con after that statement st equals to con dot uh, create statement and after that we have to use st dot execute update execute update and here we just need to write update cart set status is equals to in single okay uh, single double plus plus and here we just need to write the status and after that we have to write where product product id is equals to uh, in double and here we just need to write the product id so id okay after that uh, we have to pass the email uh, email is equals to single double plus plus email and after email the next is uh, and address is, uh, is not null we are checking the address is not null okay after that we have to send the response response dot send redirect okay after that we have to write order orders orders receive receive dot jsp page and we are message uh, with the message message equals to cancel okay and at the end we have to insert the semi column just copy this line of the code and paste in the catch block and here we just need to write wrong okay and uh, if and we also need to display in the console so system system out dot uh, print uh, ln and here we just need to write e and save this you can see it will get removed now just copy this complete uh, page and we have to paste this page to the delete order action dot jsp page with few modifications here we just need to change it to delivered delivered okay after that we have to write here uh, let's check it okay and here we just need to change it this to delete word message okay after that everything uh, should be same okay now let's refresh this page and let's check it out it's working fine or not 
we have uh, this uh, product so just click on cancel okay i think uh, it's not working okay let's check uh, refresh this page okay okay we are not able to send this so let's check it out whatever what we are getting the issue in console first okay you have a syntax error so let's me check it out uh, is not okay we are just right here in so here we just need to write is and in that we also need to write is okay save this and again refresh this page and just click on cancel again so order cancel successfully so it means that in the select start from cart though for the uh, first we are having a cancel order and these two are in the processing let's go for this and let's click on delivered so successfully updated so let's check it out for that and select to start from delivered let's again go for the cancel and here you can see order cancel successfully it's working fine so this is all about order received part of my online shopping project i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you